hey guys welcome back to xamarin guys so in this tutorial we are going to simplify our grid dot row definition as well as grid dot column definition which has recently been introduced in xamarin forms version 4.7 and above so let's add xamarin forms version 4.7 inside our new feature app project so there is a so preview package option that need to be selected then you will get uh, xamarin forms version 4.7 here you can see over here we have test page initialized so it is basically a content page now this is our traditional way of defining our grid row definition and grid column definition you can see over here all the buttons are equally proportional to grid rows that is our three rows and two columns so that is our previous way of defining grid rows and grid column so a new improved way of defining our rows is like this here you can see we have three rows that is defined within a single line and column that is two columns like the same above and which should give me as exact output so i'm saving it and the hot reload does it for me the magic of reloading the ui so this is a new way of defining our grid rows and grid columns so you can make use of it that's all for this tutorial now. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch for next tutorial.